Each RFID tag has a unique electronic product code, or EPC, that it contains. This EPC value is based on the UPC. Here's a quick overview that you should find helpful. It starts with the GS1 company prefix. Before you can assign UPC barcodes to your products, you'll need to license a GS1 company prefix. When you license a GS1 company prefix, you have the ability to create barcodes that identify your company as the brand owner. This is the basis for the first part of the UPC. The item identifier is added to this, along with a check digit, to make the barcode value scanned at point of sale. That value translates into a G10, or Global Trade Item Number. The G10 provides globally unique product identification. That G10 value can have a serialized number added to it to make an SG10, or Serialized G10. The SG10 provides globally unique item identification. The SG10 is what is encoded into an RFID tag. So when you read an RFID tag, you can find out what company produced the item, what is the item code, what is the UPC or G10, and then what specific item is this through use of the unique serial number. So if you have two shirts that are the same style, color, and size, they'll have the same UPC or G10 because they're the same product, but they'll have different serial numbers to distinguish the two items. All of that information is compressed into just 96 bits of data contained in the RFID tag. So what data do I need to encode an item tag? Well, you need the G10, which is based on the UPC. You need the company code link, which will be a constant value and can be easily looked up using the free GEPIR GS1 US tool. And you will need a unique serial number, which will require some number management tool. Let's talk about serialization. Each RFID tag has to have a unique value. This enables individual items to be tracked as they move through the supply chain. GS1 standards specify that it is the responsibility of the product brand owner to assign a globally unique G10 to each product and assign unique serial numbers to each item. If your RFID tags will come from a service bureau, meaning a third-party provider, then they will manage the serialization scheme for you. If your RFID tags will come from another source, such as implant printing, then you'll likely be using a GS1 US solution partner to enable this. Regardless of approach, you'll want to have whoever is encoding your tags document their scheme and make sure you understand how they will ensure unique serialized values for each product. You'll also want to communicate with your retail partners to see if they need you to reserve a range of serial numbers for their use, such as for in-store item tagging. Having said all this, let's wrap all of this up in the next section.